time I was here, you, you told me this wonderful anecdote of your meeting, I don't know if it was your first meeting with Duncan Grant or whether you already knew him, but it was a, a wonderful story. I had already met uh, Duncan a few times because uh, I always admired his work, though usually in those days it was shown in conjunction with Vanessa Bells, and I was inclined to think, which would now be extremely politically correct, of course, that Vanessa was slightly the better artist. But I always admired Dun Duncan's work, and so wanted when I was an art critic, as, well, indeed, before I was an art critic, as well emerged, uh, to, uh, to get to know him, because I wanted to get to know the artist that, uh, whose work I really liked, and would often, if I could, interview them for the Times. But uh, anyway, this all happened in 19, uh, 1971, I think. Um, at that time, uh, the Fine Arts Society uh, was sh showing a sort of retrospective of Maxwell Armfield's work. Maxwell would have been about 82 at the time, I think. Much the age I am myself now, but then it was much older than it is now. And uh, as he was a bit sort of frail, they, instead of having a big opening party, they had a pri smaller private closing party to which just friends of the gallery and friends of Max were invited. And uh, apparently they asked Max who he would like to be invited and he said, oh, well, I don't know. I mean, practically everyone I knew was dead now. Then he said, oh, Duncan, yes. I haven't seen Duncan for quite a while. I'd like Duncan to be invited. And so he was. Well, on the evening, I was talking to Max, who I hadn't met before, when Duncan arrived. And uh, typical Duncan, I mean, he, he was like a little bird hopping around. I mean, he must have been about the same age as Max, but you wouldn't have known it at all. And so when he came up and first of all uh, we came to say hello to Max and uh, Max said oh yeah Duncan how nice to see you I mean it's quite a while since we met isn't it and uh, Duncan said yes it is do you know when it was and um, this is in 1970 I think so he said well, it was in 1912, and uh, I don't suppose you remember where it was. And so Max said, oh, no, I don't. And he said, well, it was in the nave of Chartres Cathedral. So um, I don't suppose you remember who I was with at the time. <laughs> Max said, no, I don't, no, not at all. And he said, well... I found out, as I was working with Diaghilev at the time, and I found out that Nijinsky had never been to Chartres Cathedral, though I brought him down to have a look at it this day, and we found you working away painting or drawing in the nave. And so uh, that's the first time we met him. And uh, I had this extraordinary feeling that it was like you were able to touch the past in uh, listening to these uh, old gentlemen who hadn't met for 60 years and when they had, had met in the company of Nijinsky of all people. I, I love these situations where the past becomes so vivid to you that you feel you're almost there.